Hey everybody, this is Chris, your dependable host for all things Reed, and today we're here with Ross, and uh, Ross, what are we doing here? Uh, we're going to demo a six inch roof drain pipe. Uh, we're going to use a hinge pipe cutter with the proper wheels on it for the steel. This one here all right. is set up for the steel. This is used for a schedule 40 pipe, which is a, is a normal wall thickness of a pipe. Mm -hmm. Now they do have these for doing the Schedule 80 and the Schedule 100 wall thickness. This is a good tool because it doesn't require anything other than muscle power. It's not a tool that would make a spark or anything. You know, you can control what it does in the environment. And you also can use it out in the field where you, you know, this would be the tool you would want to take out there. Well, let's wrap this up and go to work. Let's get her done. Okay, we're gonna unhinge this tool like I got here. We're gonna wrap it around here, tighten it up, and then start the sequences of cutting it. You make your first initial cut to mark it. You gotta go both ways on it with one turn. And the first time, there might be paint or something on the pipe, so it might be irregular, so that's why you do a light touch up to it. If it feels hard, you could go a couple times like that before you twist it. Don't go a whole lot. You don't have to force the handle because it doesn't do nothing but put too much pressure on the cutters. There's four wheels on this cutter, so it's cutting a quarter of a section of the pipe at a time. So it kind of overlaps. So that's how you get all the way around the pipe. As you get close to the end of your cut, you'll feel less resistance on the on the turn and on the movement of the tool, then you gotta start being careful that your section of stuff you're cutting off, demoing, doesn't fall down on you. These are the fingers and the guides are top and bottom that support it to the pipe, so it shouldn't fall over, but Murphy's Law, you always wanna be safe and be ready. It is a tool that one man can do, but it's a lot easier when you have two people doing it. That way you can push and pull. We are through. Well, that didn't really take long at all. I mean, how, how, how did you feel it went? I went okay. Like I say, the only resistance you have is uh, the scale buildup, so I guess that's a little better than buying a Y membership. Yeah, I was going to say, does it work your arms and <laughs> oh, your shoulders? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Want to do another one? Let's do it. We've got the wheels touched up again. Remember when you're setting the tool up, like right here we have piping. You don't want to have it where we're going to interfere with not being able to get the full cut. What is your personal favorite part about the tool? Uh, you just grab this tool and go to work. You don't have to uh, have a whole big toolbox full of stuff to complete the task. So there you have it. There's a look at the Reed Hinged Cutter. Now if you want to get your own, visit ReedMFGCO.com today.